resurrection and ascension of jesus and they wanted to say this is the way to proclaim lord jesus to the people and that was the gospel from that word kerigma comes charismatic charismatic after the second world war there have come up many many charismatic preachers in us which is called post modernity period after the second world war we know that there were many changes all over the world in terms of formation of the united nation organization and again non aligned movement and again many thinkers have come up to advocate peace and justice 
to avoid one more world war post modernity period that is after 1945 there were many theories to advocate peace and justice in that context christian theologians well learned highly qualified people like bultmann rudolf bultmann and karl barth in germany wanted to highlight the suffering of jesus and the atonement and believing on lord jesus and the grace that was promoted by our lord jesus god presented him as a sacrifice of atonement through faith in his blood every year they used to have celebration of atonement at the jerusalem temple where they slaughtered sheep and the blood they use it for a sign of that atonement or sacrifice jesus was crucified on the cross he shed his blood and this was an one time event for ever humanity as to human being as to believe trust popularize and organize meetings to preach the gospel to make the people know the ministry of our lord jesus god presented him as a sacrifice of atonement through faith in his blood he did this he he did this to demonstrate his justice because in his forbearance he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished <clears throat> here comes out the righteousness or justice of god we are created by our lord and god wants to protect us <clears throat> this was one of the methods that god wanted to protect us from succumbing to many kinds of <coughs> sin he did it to demonstrate his justice again verse 26 at the present time so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in jesus this is the first time when he writes letter to the romans he uses the word atonement blood and demonstration of righteousness by god first time paul mention about cross and they were thinking they are protected by the roman power roman emperor a roman empire paul wanted to tell that was not a permanent one <clears throat> if you want to be protected by our lord you need to believe god who sent jesus demonstrated his justice through the atonement <clears throat> and again verse 27 where then is boasting it is excluded on what principle on that of observing the law no but on that of faith don't try to promote your concept of this circumcision 
there is no room for this because of law there is a conscious of sin don't insist don't try to force non jewish people to follow your law or ceremonial thing like circumcision but on that of faith for we maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from observing the law okay it's if you want to observe the law it's up to you but there are other people who do not know the law they are also justified and they are also accepted for we maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from observing the law <clears throat> verse 29 is god the god of jews only he questions them do you think god the god of jews only is he not the god of gentiles too these are all primitive and basic education paul wanted to teach them he wanted to promote his education because they were under the impression that they were the only people selected or chosen by god special they are special paul says no is he not the god of gentiles to yes of gentiles to he questions them then he answers yes of gentiles to since there is only one god who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through that same faith many years ago when amos was prophesying he he told that he preached that amos chapter 9 verse verse 7 amos chapter 9 verse 7 god wanted amos to tell the fact to the people of israel you are not only liberated by me there are other people i was listening to their cry i intervened i liberated them amos 97 or not you israelites the same to me as the kushites ethiopians you are just like ethiopians that is the lord did i not bring israel from egypt the philistines from kaptor and the armenians from kir he mentions three different communities three different nations one ethiopians secondly philistines and thirdly armenian or not you israelites the same to me as the kushites therefore god wants to establish that every human being will be protected for me all are equal god says for me all are equal there is no discrimination and therefore don't think you are special don't force the gentiles to follow your laws don't force them to undergo the ceremonial or the ritualist thing of circumcision do we then nullify the law by this faith not at all rather we have all the law he also wanted to encourage the jewish community there is nothing against your law don't think that we are talking against your law please understand you need to differentiate 
faith and law. Don't differentiate Gentiles <coughs> that they were different, they were not special since you were circumcised. Do we then nullify the law by this faith? Nothing doing. Not nullifying. Not at all. Rather, we uphold the law. Law is also important. But don't be very silly. Don't be very exclusive. Be inclusive. Try to accommodate the Gentiles in the true fellowship at the congregation level. Paul was the one who promoted this unity among people. Church has been placed. Churches have been placed all over the world to promote unity among people, not discrimination. 